This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are on site in Cleveland, Ohio for the Winterweight Show. Oh, yeah, and I am with the man, the myth, the absolute legend, Neil <laughs> That's right. I am the man, the myth, the legend, just like my buddy Jesse Goddard. I mean, look at me. I'm Dylan Bostic. I'm definitely the best dressed here at Welterweight Wrestling 3. I mean, I'm the most talented guy here at Welterweight Wrestling 3. I mean, what is there to be said? You know, like, look at me. You look good. That is a thank you. That jacket is just amazing. I don't know thank if you can catch this on camera, but it's got this wonderful print happening here. Now you, I looked up and down the hallway. You are definitely the best dressed guy here, ever. I think we've done how many interviews, and he is just impeccably dressed. You know, I'm always dressed like this. I, I show up. I did, and it's not just it's not just to make me feel good. Mm-hmm. It's to make the others around me feel really bad about themselves. You know, wrestling is a mind game. When I walk in and they're in their little, you know, training, warm-up gear, you know, not making any money, and then I'm making ten times the amount of money that they are, and I'm coming in here looking like money, how do you think they feel? They don't feel too good. Like crap. Like how they're going to wrestle tonight, right? Exactly. Exactly. You watch their match, then you watch my match, and obviously you can see why I'm the best wrestler here. What happened last year? (laughs) <laughs> well, there's this little thing about welterweight wrestling. They they continue to to highlight Ace Perry, push Ace Perry to the top, but he's not the best wrestler here. I am. They they put me out there with Ryan Kidd. I beat Ryan Kidd. Then they put me out there with all these great talent in the in this this big scramble match, and and you know I feel like I could have beat Ace Perry. He did beat me. He, he beat me, but the thing about it is he's not going to beat me again. Ace and I have had a lot of matches together, and he's beat me once. Do you know how many times I've beat him? How many? Three times. Three times, and tonight is going to be fourth. That's embarrassing for him. That's really embarrassing for him, but it's it's not just about me winning matches. It's, it's more about Ace Perry knowing that I'm Indiana's darling. And that there, there, there can only be one. It's about Ace Perry knowing that I'm better than him and he doesn't belong in pro wrestling. And, it, and, it's, and it's about welterweight knowing that I'm the best wrestler here and that I'm the biggest draw they have. I, I bet you we're going to see a lot of Dylan Bostic signs tonight because every show I've been to where you've been there, you got a lot of fans in that crowd. You know, I do have a lot of fans, but I also have a lot of people that don't like me. But that's okay. As long as you buy a ticket to see me, whether you're cheering for me or rooting against me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm making money. Welterweight wrestling is making money. You're making money. You get to come here and do an interview with Dylan Bostic. I know. It doesn't get any better than that. This may be the highlight of my career right now. It's not going to get any better than this. It's not. I, I, I'm sorry to tell you. It's not going to get any better than this. But, I mean, that's because I'm the best. Look at me. All of the rumors are true. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.